Hey everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer 40,000 Sanctus Reach. I'm Disturbing Puppet. So we're continuing the Horrors of the Warp campaign today. We've got some skirmishes up, so we'll just pick one of those and go. Uh, the last one was uh, kind of a mess. So it ran into, I think it was called the Lord of Skulls for the first time. I had a new force that didn't have any upgrades as well, and the Lord of Skulls was, seemed like uh, maybe kind of the equivalent of a Chaos Knight, and it totally wrecked us. Um, I basically just managed to kind of barely cheese it to uh, sort of win the scenario, but that was pretty rough. I didn't really have a lot of things I could do to do damage to it. Um, nothing really had any upgrades for armor-piercing rounds. I didn't have anything really heavy-hitting other than close combat stuff, and it was way better at close combat than I was. So it seemed like the best option is just run away from it and shoot it from different angles. It seemed like about all I could really do. All right, so we have three different skirmishes left before we get to the last story mission. So over here on this side, we have a very large map, huge force. We have a large map, massive force. And we have a huge map, huge force. Okay. Um, maybe we'll go for this. This might be the same force we had last time. I had a decent force we were heading east with initially, but then we kind of switched to a different one um, on the last scenario. So this is both sides hold defensive positions, capture the neutral victory points to gain the advantage. All right, let's give that a shot. I'm hoping it's not the same force, actually, because they didn't really have a lot of units leveled up. But we'll find out. So we had a force under Ragnar Blackmane, we had a force under Chrome Dragon Gaze, and then the third force we saw for the first time in the last scenario was under the Chapter Master, but I can't remember his name. see what we got here. We hold positions in the west, demons hold positions in the east. It looks fairly open. Controllable victory points one time and wins out. Sure. Hey, we got a knight. Okay, I'll definitely take a knight. Yeah, so this is the same force we had in the last scenario. So Logan Grimnar, uh, the chapter master. Okay, well, uh, 6,000 points. I will definitely be taking my knight. I'm assuming we're probably going to see a Lord of Skulls. So knowing that, I'm going to sort of pick a little differently. Um, I think what we want is probably a couple Dreadnoughts. Might even take the Predators. Auto Cannon is okay. Piercing is sort of the ability to get through heavy armor. So they've got a decent amount of piercing, kind of the same roughly as the Twin Linked Auto Cannons here. I can't repair a lot of the vehicles though, so I'm going to have to kind of rely on them to get the damage in and not get destroyed. If that Lord of Skulls is here again, we're going to have to try to just run away from it. Um, I really do like the Venerable Dreadnought. I think I'll go ahead and take him anyway. We've got Thunder Hammers. We've got Stormbolt Determinators. We've got Heavy Bolters. I did get a Landspeeder Squadron up. Um, they've got a Force Field. Landspeeders are also quite good. There's a lot of things I'd like to take, but I don't have a lot of points left. Okay, just to deal with enemy infantry, you guys, let's see if anybody has any experience. We'll take them out. So any experience units we might be able to level up. Last cannons might be a good idea as well. Missile teams apparently didn't get any damage in that counted. Do you have a Wolf Priest? That's always kind of helpful. You guys got some healing. And you're just better in close combat. Okay. All right, what else would I like? Something to deal with infantry. I've got the heavier stuff to deal with big, nasty things. So we've got to be able to kill off infantry. And I think that's kind of where you guys are going to come in. Have another Terminator unit. 310... Could just grab another land speeder and call it good. Yeah, I think that's what it'll do. So we'll just have a couple land speeders. They're pretty good at clearing off infantry. They've got good movement. We keep them out of close combat. All right, let's go with that. We're going for a much heavier force kind of to deal with armor units. Take a look at the map and see what we're looking at here. Okay, so that's neutral. 
neutral, and then chaos has these in the back. So we kind of need two forces heading out. But we're not like super far away. I'm a little concerned about the ground being passable for our vehicles though. Uh, that's pretty open. So actually what I'm going to do, let's put the knight, I can't go there. Park you there. Put the land speeders kind of more towards the middle. We'll kind of see where I want to go with them, uh, depending on where the enemies are. Uh, we'll keep them up high just in case for now. So we'll just head towards wherever there's trouble. And you can go forward a little bit. And we'll go for a bit more maybe tanks and stuff over here. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of ground that is. I'm a little concerned about moving forward on that. I'm not going to deploy too far forward. There's a lot of crap over on this side of the map that's going to block line of sight. Which I'm a bit concerned about. It's a bit more open here. So I'm going to bring another tank over. And I think we're going to send some dreadnoughts over to this side. So you, let's have you just kind of start hidden. And put the Venerable Dreadnought over on that side too. We'll kind of lead the charge against the infantry over here. Artillery, I'm not sure if I want to keep them towards the center or backing up one of the forces. Um, my range is decent, but it's not fantastic. And I don't want to have to like deploy units to kind of protect him. I feel like the knight can kind of handle things on that side, so maybe we'll keep the artillery over here. We'll send some other stuff that way to kind of toughen that force up. Uh, you can't go there. How about you go there? Throw some terminators in for help. Uh, you can hang out there for the moment. Last cannon, I'm going to hide. We'll put a Terminator squad over here as well. And we'll kind of tuck in there behind some cover. And we'll put the heavy bolters over there too, I think. So if we run into the Lord of Skulls on this side, we're going to have to try to get some help. So I think that'll help a little bit, just being able to have the Laz Cannons here too. Um, I don't want to go super forward, but I mean, there is cover right here. They shouldn't be on top of me, so I think we'll be okay. Land speeders are in the center. I might end up shifting them over. The knight can handle itself fairly well, but I'm not sure in close combat, I think that Lord of Skulls is going to beat the knight. So yeah, that Lord of Skulls had, I think, 1,000 HP, so even a knight has 500. So uh, yeah, if we see another one, definitely not good. Well, we're going to try for this and see how it goes. Let me just quickly take a look here at my deployment from the other side where it looks more interesting. All right, getting our knight out for the first time. We'll see how this goes. Definitely concerned about a Lord of Skulls showing up. Chaos gets the first turn because the enemies always get the first turn. There is a lot of stuff on this map. You can see a lot of forest tiles and stuff. So that's going to help Chaos kind of move around and block my line of sight, which is definitely bad. So I might want to try to destroy some terrain if I don't have other targets. So like here, I'm just going to stomp on up here. 
Great, that gives me a little bit of visibility, and I think I'm going to destroy maybe this. Cut the forest down. Almost. Okay, we'll just watch that area, see if we can lure them in. So we'll just kind of push up on this, and then it seems like we've got a pretty good path in here, but I might destroy some stuff on the way. Okay, Terminators. I don't want him getting swamped by infantry units, so that's kind of what we have these guys here for. Last cannons will hide for now. Go after the high priority targets. Where can we get you? You are so slow. Um, don't know if you can really see much. Yeah, a little bit. Could head out wide. There's a little bit of cover there. So we've got, what, smoke? Yeah. Let's pull up our stats. Range of 12, that's pretty good. Pull in here. Yeah, I think I'll keep an eye out that direction just in case. Do you have to keep an eye out for flyers and stuff that might try to just sneak by the front line and grab the objectives in the back? Okay. Can't make it to any cover. Okay, I can see a little bit. Objective is a bit more to the right, and then their objective is back there. So they might be coming from kind of that direction. It's hard to say. Let's have you head towards the objective. Going heavy on the Dreadnoughts here, and just hang out here, keeping an eye that way. Uh, heavy Bolters for now. Kind of stay back behind cover. And artillery will move up, because I don't have like an insane amount of range with this thing. So we'll kind of creep in on this objective and then see what comes out of this in the back. Land speeders, let's move up, but try to stay up high. Try to stay in the center. There aren't a lot of chaos things that shoot, but there are some. So I am a little bit vulnerable up high at being shot at. but it's a lot better than being engaged in close combat. Okay, so we kind of have some view across most of the fields. They're not here yet. I'm assuming probably another turn we might see something here on this turn. Pushed up a little further on this side. I can hear something moving. There we go. Okay, so much for them. The Slaneshi troops seem to be a lot faster, but they're a little bit more uh, fragile than the other Chaos units. Uh, yeah, go park on top of that, I guess. Or not. Okay. I thought I was controlling my knight there, actually. Let's see, how can you not see anything? Tell me this. That must be in the way. Fine, I'll shoot that. Yeah, they're hiding in the trees. And I still don't have vision of anything. 
Why don't I see them? Right, I'm kind of confused. Let's come up here. You see them. So we have a Skull Taker, which is probably not good. Um, we've got the Flamers of Zinch. That's my chance. 80%. Let's do a little bit of Bolter Fire. Okay. I don't think you're going to get in range of anything. I am engaged with the demons here, but these guys are kind of ranged. Same as the flamers. Just trying to see if I can get a shot somewhere. Apparently not. Could just start knocking down forests. Uh, that's... Yeah, maybe that's what I should do. Okay, you've got shots somehow. They're not great. Okay. So we could try to knock down this forest, kind of giving me a view that way. I really don't know why you can't see these flamers. And I don't know why you can't see him either. Okay, all kinds of stuff hiding, and I still can't see anything. Alright, this doesn't make any sense to me. You should be out in the open. You guys should all be out in the open. I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't have anything else to do, so we're just going to try to knock down a forest of their guns. Still no line of sight on anything. Okay, how can you not see anything? A little concerned about him. Um, I could fire these guys up, but we're right next to them, so our chance to hit's really crappy. Unfortunately, I think this tank is screwed. Uh, let's go for the Skull Taker. And I have no idea why I can't see anything with my knight. It's not even showing me what's in the way when I am over units. Um, I mean, I suppose it could be this. That. Yeah, I still have my little uh, stubber, but I can't see anything to shoot with the stubber either. Yeah, I don't understand why I have no vision of anything. Uh, maybe it's because I'm behind a forest, but that seems kind of weird that I can see the other forest tiles. So it looks like I have no shots that's going to help on the enemy turn. Which is kind of bad. So yeah, this front predator is in a lot of trouble. I actually kind of I was, thought I was in control of the knight when I clicked on this tile to have him go up rather than the predator. This game does kind of need an undo button. That would be kind of helpful. But what you gonna do? All right, so land speeders may head that way. We'll see. Let's try to take a look. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. OK, 
Okay, that is cover. I might just leave the tank back here, sort of watching this way, because their other base is back there. So they might come through this way. They might just head straight for the other objective. Let's bring... Yeah, we'll just hang out here for now. Kind of look out that way. Artillery, let's not go too far up, but I'm going to move over a bit. Sometimes I can target terrain. But I don't see anything I can really target that matters. If there's anything in the center we spot, we might have a shot at it with them. Okay, let's just head out here up high. Nothing? Nothing indeed. Okay. Keep an eye out ahead. You, I think we're going to send over here. Closest high up spot I can kind of get to is here. So we'll head in that direction. Maybe we can help out next turn, do a hit and run, or park on top of something and do some shooting. But yeah, this guy's in a bit of trouble. These guys are close combat, aren't close combat, so they're just going to back off and shoot. This guy's probably going to charge in and do some damage. And I can't really rely on my knight to actually shoot anybody as they move up. That is everybody, so we might lose the tank here right away. Okay, not good, but could have been a lot worse. Just flamed his own dude. Yeah, kill your own guy. I'm fine with that. Okay, so I managed to survive somehow. Got spam in the chat, apparently. Okay. Uh, he did kind of freak out a little bit, though. Anything over here? Yes, we do have some demonettes now. All right. So I can kind of see some stuff at an angle there. If I move out, something's going to shoot me. Skull taker. Oh, you've actually got a weapon. What do you know? All right, well, in that case... See if I can kill you. No, not quite. Alright, that's one thing taken care of. You've got no other shots. If I move these guys, I'm able to move out to the side, take some shots down that way. Uh, let's move my knight up. So I'm a bit more concerned about stuff getting to me in close combat, which means the Plague Bearers. The other guys are irritating, that's for sure. Just kind of spreading some damage. Um, let's see. Let's go for the more healthy guys to finish off. And with my stubber, I could maybe finish this guy off. Probably wouldn't do much to them. Let's see if I can just kill this guy. That's a no. All right. I kind of look that way. I don't know if my tank can get out of there. If I panic these guys, I can. Are they panicked? Yeah, I can move anyway. All right. 
Okay, so I may want to just fall back a bit here. Let's go here. I'll light them up. And Terminators can just finish them off. Thinning out the herd of enemies. Move, not really any shots I can get. I potentially could have shots if they want to try to grab the objective. We can light them up there. Um, last cannons, we could maybe move out and get a shot at something. Maybe. A little crazy, but we can head out on the edge. Do some damage to them. Uh, we could probably finish off the Plague Bearers or the Flamers of Zinch. Um, can't believe we survived that. All right, go for the kill. Don't get reaction shots with them, so they're kind of... Fragile, but anything moving out here will light up with the Terminators first. And I think I'm just going to leave him here. We're kind of covering the objective. You let's head up in case we need to heal up the Terminators in a bit. All right, Land Speeder. Yeah, let's go ahead and go in. Okay, I don't see anything else towards the center. Alright, let's hopefully wipe you out. And we'll start working on these guys. Alright, works for me. Covering that way is fine as well, so if they move this direction, they'll get lit up by both. They come this way. The knight might hit them. Definitely the tank will shoot at some point. So we've got some heavy guys up front. Should be okay. Tank did take a good chunk of damage, but managed to do all right getting out of there. Okay, over here we've got D-Minutes. Let's go look around with you. Stay back a little bit initially. Just the one unit. So far, anyway. Well, I can't drop artillery on them. I'd like to find more targets, though. Um, let's come up here. Sort of cover that position. They want to move in. We'll do some damage to them. Um, I'm not sure if I want to stay here or head around to kind of grab the objective. In the long run, moving up this way is probably better because we have that second objective to go for. And these guys are pretty slow to move around. I don't know if we head out wide, we might get a shot here. All right, that gives us some chance. All right, artillery. Let's stay inside the wall. And 
and I guess I'll just drop artillery on them. I don't have anything else I can really do. I might as well kill something. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave them there. You guys... I mean, seeing most of the enemies on this side, but I have heard of walkers somewhere. So I'm going to stay back a little bit, but we'll stay up high. Kind of hang out in this area. If anything comes at the objective. Alright, let's see what chaos can do. Nothing good. Okay, and wiped those guys out. He's backing off. Alright, not bad. Um, we've got now some forces up here. We'll just drop some artillery into the forest, I think. Yeah, I can already target them. There's nobody clumped up that well, though. Just target there. I'm not sure if I want to move up, but there is some cover here, so maybe we'll just inch up that way. Yeah, let's drop it over here. Okay, and we did hit something back there that I couldn't see. A little concerned about those flyers coming in. Okay, you can see them, but probably not very well. 60% is not bad. Let's just do that. Okay. My victory points. Now I've got some cover here. I think what I'm just going to do is stay here and shoot, even though I'm not very effective at shooting. Uh, it'll kind of draw them in, and they're all going to want to engage me in close combat anyway, and that's where I'm just going to chop them to pieces. So that should be fine. It's 80%, 60%. Yeah, I'll just hit the demonettes. Almost got him. Okay, that's no vision at all. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. Surprised I don't have any shots. I guess they're just kind of out of the way a little bit. I, mean, I could swing around with the heavy bolters and get some shots, but that makes them a really big target. Same with the dreadnought. We could kind of come out and do some shooting. Dreadnought can kind of handle its own in close combat. Let's work on whittling these guys down. want to come straight let's just set these guys up that's a terrible shot chance but I'll take it I accidentally killed the demon that's there so if they want to come down at the dreadnought from this direction we'll do some damage they come down this way we'll do some damage now you can move around a bunch I guess it's faster to go this way than the other way. Um, do I want to move up? I can safely shoot through one of my own squads, so let's do that.
Taking out some cover is not a big deal. I kind of think the cover helps them more than it does me anyway. All right. We can pick off a unit. So that's what I'm going to do. Now we got some of these fast seekers in the back. We could hurt them. Uh, we could wipe out the demonettes. Let's hit, just hurt them. Maybe more than hurt them. Two shots. Okay, one dead. Right, I've heard a walker, but I haven't seen it. So I thought I might see it by advancing here. Everything here is dead. Except the chaos spawn. Alright, good job. Uh, let's have the Terminators advance. Let's see if they spot anything. Alright, there's some more stuff we can shoot. Can't see them. We can kind of cover the area a little bit, though. Okay. All right, there's a regular walker, not one of the big nasty ones. Well, we might as well shoot at you. Okay, last shot kind of whiffed there. We've got our little stubber, we'll go for him. Keep an eye on you. So I should get a shot at him if he moves in. And have you face that direction as well. I don't think he's going to rush in here too much, but he might. You don't see him. Which is a shame. Uh, let's stay on this side, just because there might be more stuff coming down from that other objective in the back. Nothing I can do to repair this guy, but we could maybe get some shots in. That's just rough ground. It's not actually cover. Got pretty good range. So I'll take a few pot shots from here, kind of range. Has cannons. I don't know if I'll have a shot from here because of this cover. Got a shot already. It's not terrible, actually. Um, yeah, I'm worried if I move, I'm going to lose the vision. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shot from here. Not terrible. Get you closer to them in case they get lit up. Alright, so these things do have guns. I do have to be a little bit cautious about that. Um, I do have a force field here, so that would help me a little bit. I could definitely get in his flank and get some shots off, but there might be a bunch of other things in the back that are then going to light me up. Um, it's tempting. What I might just do is move in, take shots from here, and then kind of back off. don't think this is actually a flank shot. It might still be the front. There is front flank and rear armor in this. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm far enough out to be hitting him in the flank. It's right on the edge there. Now, where do I want to go? I definitely want to stay up high. We could try to sneak around here. You probably can still see me from there, but maybe not. We kill all of his other buddies, that would give him vision of stuff, and we're, yeah, a pretty good distance away. So it depends on just which way he moves. I'm assuming he's just going to head towards the objective. That's all, my guys. I 
Some more demons coming there. Come on, hit it back. There we go. Okay, that's a Herald of Zinch, I think. Okay, we heard kind of a weird noise out here, and I'm hoping it's not the Lord of Skulls coming down on the side, because if it is, we're in a lot of trouble. Um, this is, yeah, not good. We need to get you guys out of there, taking damage from this Void Rift or whatever it is. Okay, artillery. There's a few here kind of close, but they're not like super close to each other. Maybe the bolters. Um, yeah, let's use the artillery first, and let's kind of see. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and go in the back and see if we might hit something else. Okay, destroy their cover. Hurt both of them a little bit. Okay, I'm a little bit more comfortable... Move it in, but these guys are pretty wrecked. Gotta try to kill these guys if possible. Okay, I'm assuming this is damaging adjacent units as well. Not sure where I'm gonna get like a safe shot. That's kind of safe, but chance to hit's really bad. That's, I mean, 75% isn't bad. Um, if I take a few shots, I might still be able to move and just kind of back up by one, I'm hoping. Okay, we just totally missed two 75% shots. I'm gonna go and move now, just in case. Missed a lot of shots that were 70% plus there. If I move that way, yeah, I can see some, so we'll kind of cover that way in case he tries to come around. I can't see anything from here. I was hoping I might get division at least of them. Doesn't look like it, though. I'd like to gun down this guy, but I kind of have to deal with them because I've got weak, heavy bolters out here in front of me. What's the range on my flamer? So like one, two, three. Okay, so even from here, one, two, three, I'm not going to be able to get both. You can flame the front guys. No, it is going to hit them. Okay, that's four, actually. That'll wreck their morale a bit, too. Let's be damaged both. Um, yeah, I'm not happy about them being around, because they might just run past and go for the bolters. So I'll just try to block and do what damage I can, hurt their morale. You, let's just charge on out here. Chop these guys to pieces. I hope. Hey, nice. All right, we got to level up. So heat resistance, um, which I think affects the flamers of Zinch and stuff, or we can have some extra armor. I will take the extra armor. Okay, they're only shaken, whereas they're broken. So I'm just going to shoot them. Am 
hoping there isn't much else coming straight at me down here. Um, let's have you actually look that way. Let's go up high there. Nope, found some more. Okay, this is the guys that were running away before. Okay, they're broken too. Yeah, I'm not sure who I want to gun down here. Just hurting them. Cover that way. Don't see any walkers, which is good. I can't really get through here now because of this. I'm saying stasis, but it looks more like a void rift or something. So that's kind of under control. Over here, we just have you to deal with, but you're already half health. I think we'll be fine. I don't even really have to move. Uh, let's have the last cannons, see if I can get in position. Nope, no shots. That's unfortunate. Must be this in the way. Maybe we'll destroy that. Okay, you don't have to move up. He will shoot back at me first, so let's have you do it. You can absorb the shot a little better. Yeah, I'm going to move up, because we should wreck this guy. I just want to see if I can spot anything else. Looks like the objective's clear. Excellent job. All right. Here are the targets. It's marsh and rough ground. I don't think I can get through. This I can get through if I destroy that terrain. I can come up on the edge. Uh, for now, let's just go here. Give me a view right down at the objective. Bring the Terminators over a bit. Help protect the last cannons, if anything shows up. But I'm not seeing anything on the objective, so maybe there's more stuff back over here. All right, you, let's just hang out behind some cover. No, keep an eye forward. And maybe we'll head back over. I don't see anything. Okay, so mostly we've got engagements here on the left. I have heard weird noises, so maybe there's a Lord of Skulls back here. If it is, this force is a little bit less equipped to deal with it. Come on, hit him back. You're supposed to hit him back in those situations. And again, you're supposed to hit them back. You've got a close combat weapon. Yeah, that noise. Ow. It shall not today. Ooh, 22 health left. That's not great. I'd like to keep you alive if possible. Um, yeah. All right, Mr. Harold of Zinch. Mr. Harold, I'm not very happy about that. That is for sure. How far can you shoot? So I can't hit them or them. I need to move up. I 
could hammer him. Uh, I don't know what else I can really bring to bear on him. These guys kind of need to help clear them. And we're going to head into some cover. I'm worried about driving through here taking damage. I'm not sure if I will or not, though. Um, I'm just kind of waiting for this thing to go away. All right, let's see if you shoot him. He does have a force field which might block shots at random. Hey, all right, that's nice. Okay, just back off a bit. How are you doing? Okay, down a little bit. And Terminators, I can't really get through here either. Maybe we'll head out wide with the tank. Try to cover this side, since they seem to be kind of moving up and down that way. All right, Mr. Dreadnought. Let's kill some more stuff. That's a splat. That's a splat. Okay, let's bring in the artillery before we do anything else. Go ahead and target these. Get 65 either way. Yeah, we'll go here in case we might deviate, hit something else. Okay, clearing out some cover. They're pretty trashed. No shots. All right. Let's chase them down. Got Poxbringer, that's it. I haven't seen the Lord of Skulls, but there has been weird sound back here. I'm a little concerned that's what it is. If it is, I really don't want to rush in there or anything. Okay, over here we've got nothing I can see. We might spot some stuff, so I'm going to hold off using my other land speeder till we move up. Let's have the knight go in first. And I don't see anything. Um, let's come out here. We'll use the wreck as cover. Kind of look that way, just in case. I might just destroy this, just in case there's anything hiding around or tries to move up using it as cover. That's just rough ground. Kind of forming up on this line, setting up firing areas. If anything comes, we'll try to get some shots off. I might just park them behind. I don't have any other targets to shoot at. They don't get shots on the enemy turn anyway. These guys are all fine, haven't been hurt at all. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's blow this up. Okay, I think we'll just run in there and grab that objective. I think I can probably make it on the next turn. And then we'll uh, just start moving west, sweeping our way over. Okay, could move in and do some damage. It might put me in a bad spot. I'd like to maybe, if I could hit and run, like get in, do some shots, and move away. Let's see if I can do that. 
Well, there's a lot back here, actually. Go for the more hurt unit. And I can't get very far, but I will back off a little bit. All right, going relatively well. I'm waiting to see that Lord of Skulls pop up. There it is. Something that big and nasty and dedicated to corn really shouldn't have a gun on it. Ooh, he knocked out my shield. But thankfully that was his last shot. Okay, not good. Definitely not good. Okay, that's gone. Got a clump of three here we could target... I don't actually have to grab this objective since I have all the other ones. But we'll see what we can do. We can also win by killing off all the enemy. Let's keep you swinging out to the side here. We might be able to get a flank shot off sooner or later back over this way. Okay, how bad did you get hurt? About half health. It's definitely not ideal. Let's come out. And try to engage from range as much as possible on this thing and from different directions. But a lot of my units really aren't going to be able to do much to it. Heavy bolters won't do much. Uh, Dreadnought and the tanks can do a decent amount. The land speeders, probably not much, even in the side and rear. Uh, there's some cover here. And I don't know why I can't see the flyers. Maybe he's in the way. Just gonna make it difficult for them to get through here, basically, but just blocking their way with him. We'll take some pot shots here and there. All right, let's get the terminators around. Why can't you move? Are you blocked in by the? Yeah, you must be blocked in by them. Okay, we've got to move out. Okay, hit and run is definitely going to be the way to go here. I don't really have anything else I can do, and we want to stay away from that Lord of Skulls. I already have shots, which is a little surprising. Uh, let's go in here. All right, level up, and Mastercrafted Weapons or Extra Movement for less attacks. I'll take the Mastercrafted Weapons. Uh, it doesn't increase to, I think, range and accuracy. I'm not sure if it affects piercing and stuff, but uh, just all around a good good upgrade. I think it also reduces the damage fall off at range. I'm going to fall back to where I was before. You're a bit more stuck. I don't think I'm going to get 
shot if I shoot here. But I think I'm going to back off first, just in case. Keep picking off the weak. My shield is knocked down, so I could actually go down. Um, this would sort of block a lot of the view of the Lord of Skulls, but I'm not sure what kind of range it's got anyway. So staying up high does make me a target to him, but keeps me safe from the other stuff. But I could go down to sort of avoid being hit. So we could kind of hide behind the forest. We could hide all the way back here. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm going to hide back here. I don't think there's anything out here in the center, but we'll kind of see. For now, look that way. All right, up this way. Can't quite make it. Anything? I can't see any enemies. All right, I'll just blow up some stuff that could potentially give some cover. Because why not? Okay, I'll have to kind of back up and grab that and move on next time. Start moving everybody west. Seems like all that's left is there, but there's a lot of junk in the way. Uh, there's kind of a path here. It might be rough ground, but it's not saying that's rough ground. That's fine, maybe. So maybe we can kind of get through there. This way is a bit more of a mess, so maybe that's the route we want to take. I'm just going to look around and see if we spot anything trying to hide in all this shrubbery and stuff. Okay, that's about everybody. Ten more turns. I don't know if I can kill this thing. I've got some better tools at my disposal this time than last time, but it's still not going to be an easy thing to do. toast yeah that's the negative part of being a pie okay not great that's for sure all right let's drop I'm hoping we can hit all three of them if I kind of target in the center here Kind of. Six whole points of damage. All right, you're there. Let's go ahead and do this. Just want to see if I spot anything. Okay, looks fine. All right, this is definitely not good but it could be a whole lot worse. All right, level up. Uh, Auspex or armor? Um, considering what we're dealing with, I think I'm gonna take the armor. 
Might help us a tiny bit against this thing. Maybe. I'm try to advance under cover. I was hoping we could make it at least one more and maybe use this as cover. Let's see if I can get shots. Yeah, that's like a rear shot and just not doing much damage at all, unfortunately. Um, do I want to put smoke on myself? Maybe. I'd like to get the shots off first, though. So for now, I think I'll stay put. So when he moves, we'll get a shot. I have to hope for the best. I think we'll go up high, gun them down, and then back off. gonna hide back here again. Okay. Yeah, this thing definitely not nice. I really wish it didn't have a gun. Just an axe I could kind of deal with, but uh, gun and axe combo not great. Okay, do I want to destroy any terrain? I mean, I can. I might as well, I guess. Just want to clear the path if I can see anything else here. Don't know if I can get through here. That's rough. That's rough. I'd have to destroy a lot of stuff to kind of get through here. I think a lot of this is going to block vision. So I might have to head down this way. Ooh, got shots. That was pretty good, actually. We do have our smoke. So if I need to, we can drop smoke on ourselves, but that's going to make it hard for us to shoot out, too. Okay, let's just go here for now, just in case there's anything wandering around. Bring you back. I'm not sure if I want to try to head through here and just destroy a bunch of stuff on the way to get other angles, or if I want to come down on this road. We'll kind of see how things are by get like a little further along with the tanks. I'm not sure how nasty his gun is for like destroying armored units. Okay, you haven't moved. I'm not sure I want to. My gun isn't going to do anything to him, and in close combat, he's going to wreck me also. So there really isn't much point in me doing anything here other than trying to face him with my front armor. So I'm going to just sneak around here and try to use the forest as cover. And hope we don't get wrecked. Okay, even more demons are coming. Thought we'd probably seen the end of it, but I was wrong. Yeah, even at the front, he's doing really good damage with those guns. Alright, we've got a pretty good clump of... Demons here, we kind of need to target. Uh, let's go here, I guess. That 
Could have been a lot better. Okay, I can probably do good damage to the demonettes. They're kind of weak. Staying here might be bad, but also moving here might not help me much. I'm not sure if I can get covered diagonally. Probably. Yeah, let's do it anyway, just to get some distance from the War Skulls. Um, you guys, moving up, you're going to get shot by him, it looks like. So I guess I'll stay put. Yeah, I can see him. He's so big, his, his gun is above all the terrain that's in the middle. Um, I could kind of try to sneak back into cover there. Go ahead and try for a pot shot here. Okay, pretty trashed. Uh, don't like it. This should be a flank shot. I'm going to go ahead and go for the shots. Okay, not terrible. And I'm going to go ahead and smoke. But he might just come charging in and chop me to pieces there. Okay, I can get around and do some damage. Then I'm standing out in the open. Do I really want to do that? Maybe. Let's try for another hit and run here. That's maybe too far. Try to just soften them up a bit. And I can't really get anywhere helpful. Um, this isn't a bad spot because this should be higher, so it's kind of blocking me a little bit maybe. So maybe I'll stay there. I could even make a run for the objective here, potentially. I don't really want to get closer. Yeah, let's head around here a little bit. Okay, let's see anything. Use that as cover if he shoots this way. Try to bring the tanks in and get some shots off with them, hopefully. Um, I might want to go around, just stay as far away as possible. Oh great, I just shot my own land speeder in the back. That was great. Awesome. It's not yeah, it is showing that there's a chance of hitting him, I guess. Alright, you know what, never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that again. I don't want to blow up my land speeder. Those cannons will move in. Do you have shots? Try to avoid shooting my own units if it's possible, but sometimes there's always that chance. 
if I'm directly behind a unit, I won't hit it, but if there's any gap at all, like there, there's always that chance you're going to hit them. All right, what do we want to do up here? We just run over and destroy cover and try to get in. Do I head down to this path across? He is moving down. He's kind of heading towards the objectives down here. So maybe we do go that way. Once I start, we're kind of committed because we are so slow. All right, that's it. Let's see how bad this is. Still more demons back there. Yeah, and being able to shoot three times and being able to do that much damage just makes this really difficult. Okay, we do have some demon targets for the artillery. Uh, we could hit him. I'm not sure what damage we would do. I'm going to go in the back. Maybe we'll hit these two. No, yeah, hit something else, too. And I see past the wreck. Stormbolters won't do much here. We'll go for the demonettes, maybe. Yeah, better chance there. Death to those who oppose the old party. I'm using the wreck there as cover. Uh, let's see. I mean, we can come back and get a shot in his back. We are using heavy bolters, though. It's not going to do much. Did literally four points of damage there. All right. You're in the smoke. Let's do our other tank stuff first, and then we'll see what I want to do. Uh, unfortunately, he's got a reaction shot here, too. His cannons have shots. Try to come down and see if we can get a flank shot. It might be far enough, except now we don't have vision thanks to the forest. Got shots, I might as well take them. I can't move anymore. I'm whittling him down. We've done a couple hundred points of damage, but that's still a lot left. If I could destroy this forest, my last cannons can get a shot in. Uh, I don't know who would do that though. Let's swing down. Got a little bit of cover here. And they still don't have a shot, but the tank's kind of in the way, so that's probably why. Now I'm just going to try to spread out and surround him, um, and just, no matter what, I hopefully get some shots from different directions. So no matter where he goes, I will have shots from hopefully a rear or a flank. All right, whoever moves first is going to get hammered. I think we're going to have to suck it up with the Dreadnought. just want to see what else is here. Okay, we'll try to pick off some of these weaker units.
There's not really any point shooting at the Lord of Skulls with him. Pretty good job. Um, I'll stay... Let's face him, just in case. We've already got shots. I mean, it's kind of suicidal, but I can run around and get one round of shots into his rear. I could head way back here and maybe gun them down. Yeah, let's do that. Just try to stay out of the way and hide. Okay, so that is the only other unit left. So it's all about him. He's the only guy left. So I could just stay here and trade shots with him. I've got a little bit of cover. Actually, after moving up, I'm not sure I should have done that. He might just come up to be in close combat to nail me. Okay, let's come on up. Get a couple shots in his back and hope for the best. Okay, that was pathetic. And that was not great. Alright, well you're probably dead. Okay, coming on down. Can whittle him down enough with the knight. If everyone else is still alive, we can take him out, I think. But he's going to kill a few units here. Oh, there's more demons! Okay, got kind of lucky there that he didn't get destroyed. would like to wipe out all of these other units, but it's a nice opportunity to get some shots into his back. Uh, I'm just going to stay here and shoot. It's kind of a safe shot to take. Gonna kind of move them up, maybe head for the objective. If any other demons show up, try to deal with them. Um, unfortunately, he's right in there and can't move. So I can drop artillery on him. It's just I'm gonna hurt my own guy, so I might as well take the actions with him first. If I attack him in close combat, he's got a good chance to attack me back, and I've only got a 50% chance to hit. Uh, I might do okay damage if I hit him, but there's a much better chance he's just going to hit me back and destroy me. So I figured I might as well at least take a couple pot shots first. Or maybe all three, because that'll keep him hung up here. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. We'll keep him hung up on the Dreadnought for now. Those were kind of pathetic shots, but alright. Okay. Everybody else... Just shoot from every angle possible. I really need some armor-piercing rounds on guys like the Heavy Bolters or the Land Speeders to kind of deal with this sort of situation. Um, I mean, I could move up and try to get artillery back here. I don't know if it would reach, though. I mean, the Whirlwind Missiles do have okay piercing, but that means I'm probably going to destroy my own Dreadnought here when I take the shot. Let me see what I can do with everybody else first before I use the artillery. Okay, Mr. Tank. 
Uh, I don't think I'm going to have a shot from here because of that forest. I'd like to use the cover. Can't see the target, I might as well clear up some space. Alright, now I can get behind some cover and I should have a clear shot. Just not doing much. I need crits. Give me some crits. Okay, you're a bit close. Terminators. Nothing really matters. If I get in close combat, he's just going to kill him. So I'll try to stay at range and take shots with him, even though it won't do much. Any little tiny bit of damage helps here, because we're just dealing with just chipping him down bit by bit. Okay, Mr. Dreadnought... Try to get you a shot. Okay, that was pretty decent. Over 100 damage. Uh, let's head back this way. In case the infantry gets wrecked, we'll try to heal them. Can't heal the dreadnoughts or anything. Mr. Knight does not have a shot. Okay. 10 range. Yeah, we're probably just out of range. Uh, I can shoot from here, but probably he'll just destroy him and then come charging at me in close combat. So I might want to just try to back away and take shots. Just circle him and spin around him as much as possible. Again, keep that front armor forcing facing him. Um, all right, you grab the objective. See if that causes him to back off, potentially. And I could go for rear shots, but I'm not going to do a lot of damage. I could go for them. I just don't want to end up in a spot where the Lord of Skulls is going to gun me down. But that seems like un it's unavoidable. Um, here I might have some cover because of the height difference. And I'm still at a height I think they can't engage me in close combat. So I'll just stay there. Okay, it's artillery only. So if I move up by three, I don't think that's going to be enough to hit the plague bearers in the back. But if I take this shot, I'm almost guaranteed to destroy my own dreadnought. So I'm not sure if I should take it or not. I think keeping him occupied for one of his actions is better than doing 10 or 15 points of damage. So I'm going to just go ahead and leave it. I'm going to suck up the damage with the Venerable Dreadnought instead. So if I take the shot, most likely the Venerable Dreadnought will die. He'll die now anyway, but it will use one of the Lord of Skull's actions. Or two. Even better. Okay, and that kept him alive, because we used a couple actions there. Alright, I'm um, surprised we didn't get any other reaction shots there, though, as he moved around. You are so close to death. Uh, let's go... kind of safely get back here. Make sure I'm clicking the right space.
Okay. Um, I could try to move, but I think I'm far enough away that it shouldn't be a problem. All right, we'll go ahead and start with the artillery. Yeah, seven points of damage. Good shot. Need some more of those. Okay, Laz cannons can already see. Not getting enough damage. Should be a rear shot. I will destroy one of these things. You will die. I hope. Okay, you don't have shots. There? Nope. Okay. Terminator. Let's hide behind the forest, I guess. Not in range. Crap. Okay. Very disappointing. You are looking right at him. He's going to come charging down at you, most likely. Um, see if I can draw him out. He wants to come towards the nearest enemy. Shots. Sure, take it. Alright, and my other Terminator's not such a great spot. Um, yeah, let's just back up. I was hoping I might have a chance to take some pot shots there, but no. Uh, medic, let's go near the objective. All right, that's everybody. Got him kind of surrounded. He should be the last enemy other than these plague bears in the back that we're dealing with. Okay, he's flamethrowering my tank. Uh, yeah, I'd rather have you do that. Shooting with your gun probably would have destroyed me. I don't know what you're doing. All right, fine. So now that they're close, chance to hit's terrible, but I can just move over here. Got to zoom in and move the map over. All right. behind the wall for now. See if I can pop up later and hit him. Okay, I kind of want to stay at range. Uh, that's not a great shot, though. Let's we'll see if it's better from here. Yep. I'm hurting. 
Down to 182 health. Okay, got shot back. Not too bad. We're in cover, so that worked out all right. Cover soaked up most of the shots, thankfully. Uh, you guys... Yeah, why not? I don't expect much, but do what you can. Before I forget, let's have the artillery hit him. Wasn't bad. 27 damage. Uh, you can now back up. I definitely will do that. Good hit. Okay, Dreadnought. Uh, might be a flank from here. Oh, 13 health left. So close. Probably my knight will finish this off, since I'm kind of running out of units that I can shoot with. Oh, we got lucky with the Terminators! Nice! And that was enough for the Terminators to level up, so we've got the review battle because they leveled up. Um, so either one of these are pretty good. It depends on what I want to focus on. So this is going to increase my chance to hit back in combat, my hit in combat, and damage in combat. This is just going to massively increase my damage against infantry. I'd rather have armor piercing, but this is pretty good. All the demon basic units count as infantry, so I'm actually going to take the Hellfire ammo over the close combat ability. So we'll do that. Um, I did lose three units, so this I know is swapped. It's just kind of the way it is in all the DLCs. So we lost three units. We wiped out 40 of his. Not bad. So he had like s over 6,000 points worth of troops to our... What did we have, 6,000? So we had like an 800-some-odd point advantage there. Um, we did manage to kill that Lord of Skulls, so that's my first Lord of Skulls, Skulls dead. Uh, yeah, definitely kind of need to prepare for that now. It seemed like I was in a good spot being able to build armies to kill infantry and was doing a really good job wiping out Chaos and then ran into that Lord of Skulls last time and just had nothing I could do to stop it. Um, so yeah, got to take a lot more Dreadnoughts, more tanks. Um, the Knight helped an awful lot, though. All right, extra armor for the heavy boulders is good. Hellfire ammo is decent. Mastercrafted weapons helps a lot. Extra armor on the Venomal Dreadnought, also good. But uh, yeah, so that finishes up this side, I think. So these two are probably the force that was, uh, I think, Ragnar or Krom. I can't remember which was heading west and going around. Um, might have been Ragnar and Krom. So we'll have a pretty good level up on a lot of those units. We've got a couple more skirmishes to do with them, and then we've got the last of the story missions. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me for today. Thanks very much for coming by. If you're interested in the earlier campaigns and things, they're all up on my YouTube channel, along with uh, other videos and things of past streams, but also stuff that I record just for YouTube. That's also Disturbing Puppet, which is one word. Thanks very much for coming by. Hopefully I will see you all again another time. So that's it for me. Have a good one.